Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. This August on Disney Plus. This month, our universe expands with Marvel Studios. I am Groot. So get ready as baby Groot takes center stage in his very own collection of five original shorts featuring several new and unusual characters. <laughs> And then go on vacation with Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation, in which Finn, looking for a much-needed break from stormtroopers and TIE fighters, arranges a surprise vacation for his friends aboard the ultra-luxurious Galactic Star Cruise. Join us this month for these out-of-the-world adventures. All these and more streaming this month, only on Disney+. Plus. Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Little Min, the Chinese alligator, had just made it through her very first winter. Every year, Chinese alligators spend the colder winter months hunkered down in their burrows. And Min was so excited to finally get back out to the river, the sunshine, and more adventures. She loved her siblings and her mom, uh, but she was getting cabin fever. Min was born in eastern China, like all uh, Chinese alligators. She had a ginormous head with a turned-up snout. Hmm? She'd heard of other types of alligators. Her mom always called them distant cousins. But these Chinese alligators were very special. You see, her species is critically endangered which means there are very few left in the wild. They're very rare. And it's our job as critter protectors to look out for species like Chinese alligators who are critically endangered. Well, Little Min was eager to get out of the burrow, and she was getting so excited for the big day. Every year in April, there was a huge party called the Yearly Basking Picnic. All the alligators head out, From their winter hideouts, there's food, time in the sun, and finally a change of pace. Min had heard about this amazing party all winter long. This would be her first time attending. Last year, she was just, well, just in her egg. (laughs) And if you're in an egg, mm, can't quite go to the party yet. Do you know the feeling when it's finally summer vacation? You're counting down the days to all the fun summer things you like to do. Do you like swimming, eating yummy food like popsicles, or maybe soaking up some sunshine like these Chinese alligators? Well, that's exactly the feeling that Min had inside of her, and she could barely contain it. Mom, 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 How long until we had that big picnic? Min asked her mom. Oh, little Min, slow down. I've... I've already told you several times, tomorrow is the day we will all leave the burrow. But you must settle yourself down now. It's it's not ready yet. Her mom tried to calm her down, but there was no use. Min scurried back and forth, and all of her siblings joined in. They started to run around and pretended to be laying out in the sun and rolling around in the mud and the water and... Oh. After quite a long time and lots of bribing, Min finally fell (sighs) asleep for the night. The next morning, Min's eyes popped open, and she smiled from snout to jaw, and 
all the way around her sharp set of teeth. Today is the day! Today's the day! Hooray! Hooray! Min sang her little song of excitement. When her family came out of the burrow, Min looked around and squinted her eyes. It was very bright. But she saw the most amazing sight. She saw so many Chinese alligators mingling and talking, basking in the sun. And she even saw some other young alligators playing. Hey! Hi! There were snails, crustaceans, insects, and fish. It was a dream come true. Mom, is all that food for us, too? Min asked. She was shocked there was such a large amount of food. Chinese alligators are what is called opportunistic feeders. They eat when they get the chance and whatever they can find. Oh, yes, Min. The council worked hard to gather all this food for the big special day. Run along now, make some friends, and enjoy yourself. Min's mother encouraged her and gave her tail a little shove to send her along. Min went straight to the feast and tried a bit of everything. She loved the snail's best. Hmm, have you ever eaten a snail? (laughs) Me neither. (laughs) When she turned around uh, to head towards the group of young alligators playing around, she heard a voice call. Hello, Mom! Mom! It's my Samuel! Sunny called and ran over towards Min. <gasps> oh, hey, Sunny! Hello! I, I miss you so much! How was your winter? Was it fun? Or was it boring like mine? Min asked so many questions out of pure excitement and seeing her very best friend that she hadn't seen in forever! She missed him so much and couldn't wait to catch up. Come on, Mom! Let's join the other kids. I think they're having a slide motion contest. Come on! Sunny and the friends dashed off. Min and Sunny signed up as a team and got to work building the best mudslide that they could. Whoa. Have you ever gone sliding in the mud before? Sounds kind of fun. Hey, Sunny, uh, let's, let's take this spot out a little and make a little pool at the bottom. Min was so excited to finally be outside in the sunshine with her very best pal. Right idea, Mom, said Sunny. We can, we can call our slide the Splash-tastic Fantastic. <laughs> what do you think of that? <gasps> I love it. When it came time for the judging, the teenager alligators who were running the contest came by and absolutely loved theirs. And the prize for the best mudslide. First place goes to the Splashtastic Fantastic, Min and Sunny. The two young alligators couldn't believe it. They looked at each other and started to cheer. They had won first place. The friends played some more, made new friends, laughed relaxed, and even basked in the sun, some like the grown-ups did. After a while of basking, Min had an idea. Hey, Sunny, uh, have you ever gone over there? Min asked. Over where? Sunny was confused. You know, uh, over on the other side of the marsh and the far edge of the river. Min was curious what was over, you know, past their cozy little section of the river. Well, not exactly, but I've heard it's it's quite a sound. Sunny responded. At that very moment, the friends looked at each other and without saying a word, slowly walked away from their group and started headed into the marsh. Have you ever had the same idea as someone without even saying a word? Well, Min and Sunny had this very thing happen, but uh, their idea might not turn out to be the very best. We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. All right, friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Happy birthday, John. Woohoo! He's turning seven years old. He loves and knows everything about animals. Oh, that's awesome. He wants to go to Madagascar to sing, see a ring-tailed lemur and a fossa. Wow. 
He's the best big brother in the world to Clay and Lizzie. That is so awesome. Happy birthday, John. I'm so glad that we got to celebrate it together. I hope you have the best birthday ever. Friends, if you want to celebrate your big day and your birthday is coming up in September or October, just make sure that you get on the schedule as soon as possible. Have your parents head on over to HeyMrJim.com to learn more.